Before we get started today, I just want to say I'm not the best free ride player there is, but we are up on a freestyle track. Yeah, man, I just hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Smokesta here, back at you with another video. And today we are on X Games FMX by the man Consuming Clouds, and we have Consuming Clouds with us. What is up, man? Howdy, everybody. How you doing, bro? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing good, man. I know we've sat here and uh, talked for like the last 20 minutes, so we might repeat some of the stuff we've already talked about, but. Uh, Man, you've done an amazing job on this track, bro. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I really enjoy this. It's a mix between, like, the realism side of things, you know? Like, this is, like, awesome jumps, everything. But then you also got that giant eyeball in the middle with the squid arms. And, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, just like I was, awesome, I, bro. I, I, I was getting these uh, like these these competitions in my feed, in my uh, feed. You know what I mean? These like old still old competitions, like like the 2002 Gravity Games, and I was watching them, and I was like, I want to make that bikes. And, like, and obviously, I don't want to make it the exact layout, just because like I I don't know, like I it, it was I wanted to do something unique, so like and I wanted to make it's for a video game. You know what I mean? So I wanted to get real crazy. Right. Well, you did an amazing job, and I have crashed on every single jump that I have taken off of so far. Jeez <laughs> Louise, bro. It's, uh, it's, some, some of them take some, like, dialing in, you know what I mean? Like, this big one over the eye, especially coming over from the back here. Yeah. You really gotta be third gear in a decent amount of momentum to get over it. I just looped out as well. I am so used to riding the 250, bro. It's wild. <laughs> I have yeah, not yeah. ridden the 450 in a minute. It is a, uh, what's it called? It is a learning curve for sure, especially with like the, the like the uh, power difference. Yeah, for sure, bro. I was looping out there, man. Jesus, this is wild. So, uh, what part of this track like took you the most time to dial in 100% to where you were like comfortable with releasing it? The uh, the part the part that was holding me up the longest, I would say, is the jump like positioning and composition like it used to have way too many jumps and then it had way too few jumps and then i sort of had to figure out like okay these jumps work into this and there there's a there's a few lines that you can take and take like uh five or six different jumps in a row oh, and nice. just go back and forth and like do a good run you know what i mean like so the idea was to, like get like a good like minute 30 second run or however you wanted to do like a like a freestyle competition like if like like how they did back in the day or right I guess they still do it you know yeah i guess i haven't watched an actual freestyle competition in so long bro and it's getting out of hand with some of the stuff these guys can do man we 100 percent, and like i don't know if it's just they're not broadcasting it or if the best trick is better for social media numbers but i i oh, do not point. see the runs anymore it's just like best trick and it's always some sort of like weird like it's always some sort of backflip with a body variable and it's the style is gone that like the, like the music the, the composition like everything is different now i don't know yeah no and i totally i totally see that because like you got people like axel hodges and stuff that are very popular for them doing crazy tricks and sections you know but they're not facing anyone they're just out on their own and then posting it on social media exactly and i think like a person like axel hodges would do great like this with like tying tricks together like he not just one trick where you have to do the most crazy thing and i i imagine they still do these st that style of event but it doesn't get the social media engagement because you can't tie it tie it down to like a 10 second clip right yeah no and and you're, and you're totally right about that man speaking of which while we're on the topic of tricks and stuff you taught me something about tricks that I had no idea about until uh, we started playing together, man. So there's oh, yeah. a way that you can do each trick. Absolutely, yes. You do the trick button and then body lean in a direction at the same time. Yeah, that's wild, bro. So if you do the trick button and down, like I have my body lean on my right joystick, so and then my trick button is clicking the left. So if I click the left stick and then hold down on the right stick, I do the Superman. And then to the right is what, uh, uh, 
what is it a double is like a can can i guess is what it's called right with the two feet over the handlebar or the two feet I over the so. seat i think so and then clicking the trick button and up on the right joystick does a heel clicker for me yeah, yeah and see i cool. always thought it was random literally until you said that i thought it was completely random Heel clicker is the easiest one for me, just because of the way like I'm grabbing my hand, like my trick button and all that. But you know, it's all a matter of where you uh, t where you tie your trick button to. Yeah, for sure. I know there for a while. I know a lot of people have like their shifting and all of that um, to like the clickable buttons on the joysticks. But I have my trick button to my left one. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's things are like that fun. You know what I mean? You can do these tricks like uh, with any amount of air. So if you're and you're not gonna crash just because you land it, you you go through the whoop section doing a heel clicker, doing a Superman. Yeah, great. I see people do that. They, <laughs> it's like uh, watch Kelso. He's like he's emoting on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hitting the hitting the heel clicker through the whoops is just next level. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So um. Of all the tracks, of all the tracks you've made so far, you know, you had Daytona Beach, you had uh, Sakura Beach, um, I believe it was the, oh, what was it? Start with the R from the MX vs. ATV game. Um, it was, uh, it was... It Reborn was, Valley. I it, yeah, I called it Reborn Valley. It's Prairie Valley and Reflex. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. So, um, what of, the, which of those tracks is like your favorite of your creations i would say dade city and it's personal because like when i was growing up i had a friend who raced dirt bikes and i really wish i could have raced dirt bikes when i was a kid like i right. just couldn't, couldn't afford it but he would ra he would race at dade city and that that's what made that and i always wanted to race there so like whenever i was like making this making tracks for this game I, I made one of the first ones I made was Dade City and I've made a few different versions of it now. The one that I have out is I think the second version I made for it. I, uh, I, re I, did, I removed the older version and I might like re-upload it at a later date like updated wise but like it had a uh, it, it, it wasn't up to standard you know what I mean I needed a, right. it needed better graphics and like better like uh, bumps and ruts and whatnot and I think this like the, the one uh, I think you, you, you for sure did a video on it now that I remember bringing it yeah i remember um, dade city yeah and uh yeah so basically just that one you know it's it's local to where i grew up and like it's just it's personal right well that's awesome man i think of all the tracks that you have built for me it's a tie between sakura beach and uh, reborn valley i really like the way that sakura beach looked visually it was just amazing but I really oh, like the way that Reborn Valley rode. Like, I loved the flow you got on that track, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I tried my best to recreate what they were doing in Reflex, and uh, I'm, a proud, I'm happy I'm happy you enjoyed it. I think that... So for me, like, I'm working on a track right now. It, it's a fantasy track, and I feel like it, I would be so hard on myself if I was doing, a um, like, a replica of anything because I would feel like it has to be so close to what it was in like real life or in the other game i don't think i would be able to fit it with the physics and just the way mx bikes plays because i'd be like oh that's not good enough i don't no, think i could ever do a fantasy or, or not a fantasy like a replica you 100 percent can you just gotta think of things the, like think of things like they're a king mx track you know what i mean they're not too hard they're not too easy like they're there like the bumps are there but they're not gonna take your wheel out you know what i mean it's right. obviously that's there's a balance that he's found there but like there it people will enjoy that like they're not gonna be like oh it's not 100 percent this that and the other like that people people hated the pe previous track maker that made the pro national tracks like they, they hated his style because it was like like taking like their with their, their wheels out and whatnot they're like these tracks are too hard and obviously people liked it as well now, now that looking back on it people are looking back on that, that, that old old uh, last track creator and they're like well these these aren't as bad as we thought so yeah people are just, you know, it, yeah. they're, they're, it, that, that stuff goes, it comes and goes yeah and I totally get that aspect of it because I literally was one of those people that thought TFC tracks were like really hard but I was yeah. like brand new to the game you know and yeah. then now I've played some of these uh, 
new Stone Rider tracks, and I'm like, holy crap, bro. Like, they're amazing yeah. tracks. They're absolutely beautiful, and they're amazing. But they're so hard, man. Which, I they mean, you hard. know, it, 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 it's good for, like, the professional side of things. And they do release an AM version of those tracks, which I feel like I've been, like, baited into talking about for, like, the last week and a half ever since I made that video. But, yeah, man, they're beautiful, and they're amazing tracks. But, yeah, just to kind of touch on that fact i thought tfc tracks were hard as hell at first and now i've actually ridden them a lot since i've got better at the game and they're really good 100 percent. yeah there's like there's one or two that i think still like grab the wheels weird and i think that's like iron man specifically but the right. rest of them like they're just mellow enough you know what I yeah mean? and yep. i mean just because that like the beta changed like back when the tfc tracks were out the grip was completely different. The bikes felt completely different. So like, yep. it's, it's definitely not a one-to-one -one comparison. Right. And you know what's crazy is I was actually watching, because I started building tracks and stuff, I was watching TFC's tutorials. And, oh, yeah, um, they're, helpful. they're helpful. They are. They really are. But he, he spent so much time on those tracks, man. Oh, yeah. So be, the, the, to be careful about TSC's tutorials, there's some stuff in there that's not uh, like like once they were made before the Resolute Kraken editor. So yeah, and some I'm of using the stuff that. Is just, yeah, some of the stuff is taken care of through that, and everyone there's a the NXV mods uh, Discord the trap channel in there. There's a lot of people in there. And they will answer any of your questions on that. They they know which which parts of that need to be like which part like they 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 just like they know based on the question that people are asking it's like oh you watch the TSC tutorial that stuff is like taken care of in the Resolute Crack and stuff it's ah. like, they, they they already know. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even know about the MXB mods group. Oh yeah, they're yeah they're super helpful. Uh, yeah, everyone in there is super helpful. Um, what's his name? Red Riders in there. Um, Logan, like the Earthworks people. Like it's not the Earthworks uh, Discord specifically. That's a separate thing. But yeah. the, uh, the the like what's it called? It's called uh, it's in, uh, just the MX Bikes Mods Discord. And there's a channel called Tr uh, Mods Trap, and that is the one. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, well. Uh, do you have any any other plans for tracks coming up soon, or are you working on anything else that you want to talk about? One hundred percent. I'm working on a collaboration track with Parada. Nice. He, the last guy you did an uh, interview with, he ha he actually helped significantly with that eyeball spinning in the middle. He uh, he helped me out with the code. Uh, Red Rider helped out with the code as well. And he, he told me everything I should have been able to know. But I think <laughs> the, the biggest thing was I didn't have note, Notepad++. Plus plus. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. He, I, I was copying down exactly word for word what he was sending me. And it just like, I, I just, I'm not good at writing code. And I think I wasn't doing tab or something. But Notepad++, plus plus, what have you, like, it got me. I was able to copy over the code that Parada had. And Parada, like, he uh, set it all up for me. All I had to do was load it up in, and I can, like, edit this. I was able to edit the speed real easily. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, yeah. He any, any questions you have with moving objects, like, either red or if red's busy, Parada knows what, how to make them objects move. Okay. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, that eyeball is crazy, bro. And then you got the tentacles coming out of it. It's fire, bro. It really is. It's so awesome. Yeah, thank you, brother. The, uh, and they're coming out of, I think it's, uh, it was like a, the, you know, the nether from, like, from uh, Minecraft. They use that for the texture of this little portal here. And yep. it's not meant to be like the nether. It's just, I just like that, that texture. Yeah, no, that, I, mean? I like that purple color and everything, man. That's fire. Yeah, and like the lightning coming out of the clouds and like yeah no and, and that's one thing i noticed too i didn't see godzilla but i seen like the sky the the galaxy over there the purple galaxy and stuff where's godzilla at? next to the playstation banner up there oh am i He's looking looking into the stadium oh he my gosh blends in with the trees. <laughs> he did blend in i didn't even see him fool <laughs> yeah the uh, yeah he's uh he's that's looking all awesome over here. Oh, you know what? We didn't touch on, bro. We didn't touch on the whoop section. Ah, the whoop section. 
you got the, the hidden whoop section. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to the pits because that's where it starts. You get a okay. full pers perspective of everything. Go I'm through at, the SmackDown banner. I'm actually out of uh, I'm out of um, uh, tear off, so I'm gonna just go back to here. That works. There, where are we at? Where are we at? I'm trying to find you. Wait. Oh my god, I am so bad at reading this dang thing. Okay, I'm on, I'm in your direction now. Here we go. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's so fire, dude. So we tried out different methods of uh, changing the height map with the whoops and uh, texturing and whatnot. So like this, uh, the way I textured this track was completely different than the way I did the others. Like, I, I don't know, it's like hard to describe I mean it's probably easier than it should be <laughs> well I man I love the track and you absolutely did an amazing job on it man and I can't wait for you and uh, you and Parada's track bro that's gonna be so awesome thank you I appreciate it do you have anything else you want to say to the people before we go man uh, no I mean I just I, lo I love this community and I uh, am thankful to be a part of it well, we're thankful to have you, man, because you do create some amazing things for the game, bro, and I appreciate you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. You make great videos. I appreciate it, man. I try. I don't I don't know about great, but I appreciate it very much. You know, it's whenever uh, whenever a new track comes out, you know, I want to I wanna see somebody write it before I, I download it. You know, I want to see what it looks like in, in a video format, and this is the best way. Your channel is one of the best ways for that to happen. Well, I appreciate that very much, man. By the way, everybody, I apologize. I know you, I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video, but uh, I suck at free riding and um, I crashed probably a hundred times during this video. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the conversation more than you enjoyed my actual writing because I am not very good at this. It's all good. These, I, I made it difficult on purpose because like you know, if, you, if you landed every trick the first time, like people would get bored. And, like my very first track was like that. It was like it's too easy, and then like from then I've been trying to like find that balance. Well, I think. Oh my gosh, that's the first. I might be able to hit a double backflip off of that. Um, I think that you did an amazing job all around. Like the difficulty factor and having to know exactly where you're going so you don't like slam into the backside of a takeoff or something. You know, definitely right. amazing. So like, look at the tentacles where you, whenever you land and land when you take off and they're, they're meant to be like a visual cue like oh. it's not meant to be like perfect like this goes there but it's you know it's something to look on to yeah let me try this double backy real quick oh man i needed more speed <laughs> well i appreciate you joining me clouds thank you very much for doing this video with me man well thank you i thank, thank you for letting me be part of it no problem man anytime well, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And um, definitely go download this track by Clouds, man. Check out all of his other content. He makes some amazing content for MX Bikes, man. Um, but other than that, I will catch you all next time, man. Peace.